Hello, welcome to another of my new video. In today's video, I will be explaining you how to cut glass tubes. Here, I have a thick section of a glass tube, as you can see here. I want to remove the top section of the glass tube off. To do this, I will have to use something called a carbide scribe or a carbide screw. The way to do it is it scratch the glass surface, make a perfect score line. To do this, you put one thumb over with your another finger over the scoring knife and twist as you score the glass tube. You want to create an even score as possible, so therefore it breaks up also evenly. This should be sufficient as a score line you can see here. The score isn't too big, but it just only have to be lightly. You can dab it with some water if you wish, or you can leave it dry, but make sure this piece of glass remains cool. Then we start our torch. First, open the glass. And I will also turn on the oxygen generator. Now the oxygen generator is on, so now I have to turn on the gas tap. Here I have an excess of gas, we don't want that big flame, just slightly lower would be good. About this big of a flame. Now the flame we need to get is a working to slightly reducing flame, we don't need to be super hot for this demonstration. This flame is good enough for the use we're going to be doing next. Next, we need to find ourselves a glass rod that can be used to score the glass. Here, we use this glass rod over here. The glass rod makes sure it has to be thick enough so it has enough thermal mass in the end to create the scratch. So here we can see it's our score line. We heat up the glass. First in the cooler portion of the uh, flame, so we don't crack the glass to begin with. You eventually just get the glass just about to melt. That will be good enough and put it around the scratch. Now we crack the glass. When the glass is cracked, what we can do next, just let it cool a little bit. Break the glass off on the section that hasn't been scored as you put your thumb over there. The glass can still remain some heat due to the heat transferred onto the glass by the hot glass rod. Just like this, you can feel the glass is about to coming off. If not, you can knock it slightly with another tweezer or something. Here we have a perfect break. The glass is slightly wobbling, but it's better than a most cracked glass. We can do this the same way as to open an ampule filled with our sample of a piece of rubber inside. The ampule have also pre-scored it with the score line, which is quite faint here, but this is good enough for our demonstration, as we only want to apply the heat on the scored end of the glass. We will heat up the glass. Make sure just about red and hot. That is good enough and apply on our score line. Here we go, it cracked. We can remove the top section really, really easily by simply bending the glass. Just like this, we get a perfect cut open. We can take out our little piece of rubber inside as our stored sample. Now for the working principle of breaking the glass through a hot rod, so basically, when we have a glass rod, especially I've just drawn here, here is a line that representing a scoring line. When we apply a force, it works the same. It just 
understand this as a 2D way, also for the same working principle for a glass sheet as well. If for a glass sheet, we can just extend the axis like here, same way as of a score line, first example for glass score. So when we have a score line on a glass, this score itself is the weakness. If we apply a force either side of that score line, basically, on the weakness spots, the spots here on the score, we experience the most force as well as the most stress. When stress is induced on the score line, the score line actually acts like a crap line, which immediately propagates downwards and eventually allows the entire score to be separated. It's the same reason why you can cut glass sheets with a carbide scoring wheel basically a tiny little wheel with a tapered edge which allow you to score right on the surface also why this help you to not score multiple times because you only want one weakness spot not multiple weakness spots which will ruin the overall cut of a glass for this to work properly the surface also have to be incredibly smooth as the score line is really really thin unless you do a really really deep scratch then it can also be used for some slightly rougher surface. But now, back to the demonstration with glass tubes. Glass tube can break the same way as like a glass sheet if you apply a, a force on the either side of the score line. Just make sure it just bends away from it. Thinking about ripping a piece of paper. If a paper or a plastic bag have already this type of a cut, you can see many type of like food bags, especially this type of like cutting shape being introduced on the plastic itself allows you to rip the plastic really, really easily apart in half because here the plastic will experience the most stress the same way as how glass works. As you can see most mostly in a lot of common modern plastic packagings the same way how glass also breaks. But black glass itself is much more fragile. If you have a score line just slightly on the glass itself, where you apply force, it breaks. But when we introduce a hot molten blob of glass onto the score line, glass has a similar properties code. When you heat it up, glass, glass itself actually expands. When you cool it down, it's actually contract. So therefore, when we introduce a hot glass, glass itself expands. When it expands, the neighboring glass actually hasn't exp expanded. So therefore, it gets slightly longer either side as a force acting on the crack itself, which introduces a really, really large stress on the scoring line. Thus, when the stress of the glass is exceed the, the strength of the glass material of glass itself the stress line basically allows glass to break when it's breaking it makes a really really even finish this stressing breaking thermal property of glass make it really useful especially if you try to cut some really really sub short section of glass if the glass is this short, when you try to apply a force manually, you can easily break the entire glass, also cut your finger as well. But when you do with the thermal method, this allows you to cut glass safely without ever injuring your fingers as well, if you take the, the proper precautions and health and safeties. But anyway, this is the video for today, and I hope you like it. If you like it, please like, share, and subscribe.